Because all of her like kinematic intelligence per se is in that mechanism. So it can't be tuned. There's a set trajectory of her feet. But I realized that what I could do is if I offset those legs a little bit so they're not placed all on the same wall, you can actually get them to be pushed a little bit closer together and their trajectories don't interfere, but you still get more legs in a smaller space. Now, there are a lot of gears in Charlotte because each side of her, all four legs on one side are driven by a single motor. So you need gears to transfer that power to shafts that are next to each other. But then legs that are next to each other actually need to spin the same direction, clockwise to clockwise, for instance. So you need another gear in between those legs to make sure that they don't spin opposite directions. Oh, each so. side of Charlotte has six gears and then another gear for input, so seven gears. I've done a couple of tricks to make sure that the limits to how close these legs can be to each other can be stretched a little bit. Last week we based that minimum distance on the stride that each leg completes. But if you look at videos of spiders, you'll see that all of their legs are really close to each other but that doesn't cause them any problems because they have the kinematic knowledge in order to place their feet in a way that don't interfere with each other. Sure. Obviously, Charlotte is not capable of that kinematic knowledge. Because